All right, I'm gonna show you how to create a campaign in GetResponse, which is a campaign, it's just a fancy word for a list, and you wanna create different kinds of lists so you can do list segmentation. And um, to do that, you need multiple campaigns. Now, a particular opt-in, if you don't want your opt-in form from GetResponse just going to a main list, if you wanna segment that opt-in to go to just a special list that kicks off a series of special autoresponders, just for that list, well, this is you need to create a new campaign. And I'm also going to show you how to turn what's called the, the uh, double opt-in or the confirmation off because most successful marketers just want to deliver their thank you freebies for an opt-in immediately and not have a confirmation email sent. So let me show you how to do that. Obviously, up here, it shows your current campaign. We're already in our dashboard here at GetResponse. And you can, all you do is click on this little arrow and you can see all the different campaigns I have here. And um, there's quite a few because I like to make a different campaign uh, for just about every product that I have and also uh, different opt-ins that I have in different parts of my business because each one of these has an autoresponder series connected to it that sells specific things to these particular groups of people. Uh, no matter how many campaigns you have, obviously when you send a newsletter, you can just choose everyone. So everyone gets a newsletter or you can actually send specific newsletters to particular campaigns. You can, in whenever you go into your newsletter, send out uh, each one, ha each one of these has a checkbox next to it. So you can just check or uncheck or you can check all or whatever you want to do. So you're not stuck uh, sending out all these different newsletters. So to create a brand new campaign, you just go create campaign. And it opens up here. And then you just want to name it something very simple. Uh, and it all needs to be, this, no one's going to see this. This is just for your reference. So it all needs to be one run together. It can't have any spaces or anything like that. So let's call this campaign um, video testing one. Okay. And uh, we'll just hit create new campaign. Now. It's successfully created. Now that list is created. Here, at this point, you can do um, a number of things. You can go ahead and add contacts, like upload a list from Excel right to that campaign. You can just go ahead and create a newsletter right in the newsletter section to get response and send it right to that, that one campaign. Typically, I send a newsletter to everybody. You can also start your autoresponder series. So you can click on autoresponder series here, and it opens up your uh, first autoresponder and you can create a template out of the templates that are provided by GetResponse or you can just send a plain text or whatever you want to do. And you can create your series from scratch right here. I'd say, you know, if you want to send out five autoresponders like once every three days so that when people opt into this campaign, they get a, a special series of marketing messages and that's how you do it. But this is how to turn the double opt-in off. We just click campaign settings and this is really, really easy. And it's got some information here. Just kind of ignore a lot of this stuff. Um, this is going to be a default for everything that you do. But go to permission. Click permission. And then it says enable confirmed opt-in for email subscriptions or web opt-ins. Turn these off. Just unclick them. And that's it. Now this confirmation message will be overridden. So it's not going to send a confirmation message when someone opts in. Now, the opt-in, there is no confirmation message or anything. So the autoresponder that you create will go directly to their inbox instead of a confirmation message. And then as well, um, when, when you create an opt-in and you're giving away a freebie or something like that, you can choose the thank you page on your website that will immediately appear after they click the submit button when they opt in so that they don't have to wait for a freebie or confirm uh, their email. It'll just instantly come to a page that says, thank you for signing up. Here's your freebie. Thanks a lot or whatever. Look out for my newsletters. Whatever you want to write on it, it'll immediately appear. So that's instant gratification for your person, for your contact signing up. Uh, when you create the opt-in form, and we'll take a look at that. When you create the opt-in form for this particular campaign, and you can see here, 
I'm at, you can see my current campaign video testing. And uh, here's where you create your opt-in form. You can choose one of these. There's 222 of them. So, I mean, there's Christmas ones and, you know, whatever you want to do. Or you can just design one from scratch. You can create a header here and write whatever you want in this uh, title area. And then whatever you write in these different sections, it'll just appear. And then it is going to ask you, uh, when we go over the next step, it'll say, it'll ask you for this custom thank you page. And you just click on that. And this is the thank you page that you want them to see immediately upon hitting the submit button that will deliver your freebie, whatever it is, whether it's a video or, or an audio file to download or an ebook or whatever, this is the page it'll be in. So this is the thank you page or confirmation page of your website that delivers your freebie. And um, it says confirmed opt-in off. And then you can actually add this to Facebook and a whole bunch of cool stuff. But, and then you click next step. And this here is your code. Copy and paste that wherever you want in your website and the box will magically appear. That's all there is to it.